front of the counter. A lone man in a white shirt wiped his hands on his apron and whistled along to a song on the radio. The clock on the wall behind the man ticked aloud. The hands pointed to 11.53. Hey there, what can I whip up for you? The man inquired as Tiana shuffled onto a stool. What's your most ordered item? You from out of town, huh? I've never seen your face around here. Tiana considered her response for a second. There's no need to lie, but I can't be certain who's who right now. Yes. Oh, really? From where? From up north, Milwaukee. She frowned, hoping he would stop asking questions. The man shot Tiana a lopsided smile and told her it would be about five minutes for her cheeseburger and cheese curds to be ready. Meanwhile, do you want some coffee? I was just about to brew another pot. Coffee will be just fine. She answered and looked out the windows. The car was still empty. Miss? The man at the counter was back. He put a steaming cup of coffee before Tiana, then wiped his hands on the apron at his waist. Tiana watched his movements over the brim of her cup. Her eyes moved from the man's hands to his face. Something about him wasn't right. His forehead was funny-shaped. His mouth seemed too broad and wide. His arm hair was coarse and matted. Tiana swiveled around on her seat. There were no other patrons. Everything felt unusually still. It's too quiet. There was a door at the far corner behind the man. She leaned forward and peeked over the counter. It was bare, with no food, utensils, or condiments. Traveling the road, traveling the gravelly road, traveling the road, the long way home, gravelly with stones. The man on the radio sang with a Texan twang. The cook behind the counter whistled along. Their eyes met. Tiana's blood turned cold. His eyes had green rings around the irises, and his canine teeth now looked unusually long. Tiana nervously placed a coffee cup down on the counter and asked how much longer her food would take. I'll go check now, the man replied, then disappeared behind the door. Tiana slid off the stool and ran for the door. Miss? She looked back. Where are you going? The man questioned. He held up an oil-soaked brown paper bag. I, I just wanted to, here. He grinned, placing the bag on the counter. His teeth were a combination of white jagged knives and shards, sharp and glistening. He flicked his black tongue over his canines, then winked. Tiana reacted fast. She tugged on the door handle and pulled with all her might, but the door didn't open. The man behind her comes from around the counter, knocking the brown bag to the floor as he lifted the slat. Tiana trembled, staring at his approach in horror. You know, miss, you give off such a mouth-watering smell. He snarled, spittle flying from the side of his wide-faced lips. The air rippled as a pair of gnarly, spiraled horns formed on the top of his head. Tiana chortled a strangled cry. Her mouth had been enchanted shut. She pushes her back against the door. There was nowhere to run and no way to get out. Suddenly, her throat begins to tingle, so she tries to scream out, Bounty! The demon laughed. There's no bounty here, little lady. No one can save you now. Don't worry, I'll go slow. Give you a little bit of pleasure with your pain. Get away from me! Come on, don't be shy. Think of me as a big puppy, and I'll pretend you're my bone. 